Hello, everybody. What's good? Well, I can tell you what is good at DNC Diecast. Today, we have our first Random Act of Kindness, or R-A-O-K. And this box was delivered to us by Diecast Diane. She is a fellow collector who is enthusiastically trying to support our channel, at which we are very grateful. And she has graciously delivered a box of cars that she wishes to donate for an opening on the channel. What is in the box? She did not say. But she said she will be watching the video to see when we open it. So today we are going to open her random act of kindness. Diecast, Diecast Diane, I want to say from the bottom of our hearts to DNC Diecast, thank you very much. Well, that said, let's get this box over to the studio and see what we got. All right, back at the studio. Let's check out our random act of kindness from Diecast Diane. Ooh, I'm telling you guys, this feels pretty hefty. It's like Diecast Diane did us a solid. We'll soon find out. Hopefully she put in some good cars for us to take a look at. Diecast Diane is kind of a stealth collector, so... I'll be very interested to see what she's put in probably one of her stealth packages. You know, she's one of those collectors that is a mild collector at best, but uh, she is off during the day, so she can go out and do hunting when most of us are at work. So she has an immediate advantage over the vast majority of us. All right. I don't want to set this down. All right. There's a look inside. Let's see what we got from Diecast Diane. Pull this back a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. Not perfect, but a little bit better. We'll work with it. Okay, that's just paper. First car from Diecast Diane. Wow. Ford F Series GNC pickup with a wild deco, but a blue card. Not bad. Oops. There we go. Have a look-see at that. Nice. I definitely don't have this card, or this truck in my collection. And I do like a good truck. So, I'm not crazy about the Deco. That's a little wild. This might be ripe for a custom, but still. Nice. And, next from Diecast Diane. What we have here, whoa, nice. An old school GT racer with metal on metal. Blue card gold, my friends. Blue card gold. What do you think? You guys like the GT Racer? Hmm, card's a little funky, but whatever. It's probably going to get opened anyways. Oh, this is prime for the track. I've never seen one of these actually go down the track, but I am primed to give it a try. This thing is heavy. Wow. These are the good old days of Hot Wheels. What year is this? 1995 is the copyright, so maybe 96. Either way, collector number 468. And I've always loved this track on the back of these blue cards. Man, that looks amazing. Talk about some fun. Well, anyways, GT Racer. Nice. Whoa, all right. The mini truck with ultra hot wheels. Another wild deco. But, I like it. I like it. These things are known track demons, so I'll be very interested to see how this guy does on the track. I like that. It has almost like a Zender Fact 4 kind of rear end to it. Interesting. I never actually took a good look at the uh, mini truck rear end. The boom box inside. Sweet. What else did we get from Diecast Diane? All right. Dash for Cash Series Jaguar XJ220. Nice. Really nice. These things speak for themselves on the track. Not a lot of rear detail, but nice ride. I believe this is from 1998. I might be mistaken. Yeah, copyright 1997. Yeah, so more than likely 1998. Another awesome track on the back. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Well, thank you, Diecast Diane. We're off to a pretty good start here in our first R-A-O-K. -okay. And for those of you collectors who are not familiar with that term, 
That means random act of kindness. In the diecast world, that usually translates in get to getting a box of cars for free as a gift from someone else. What we got here? All right. The Avis Quattro. I know I have a couple of these in the collection. Is this metal base? Nope. Plastic bottom. Blue card gold. I haven't seen this in the lineup too often again since the uh, 1990s or even early 2000s for that matter for this car. Pretty nice though. Nice looking sports car. And the year on this 1991, so maybe 92, 93 unsure given the yellowing around the uh, j-hook here i'd say probably early 90s but i digress the avis quattro pretty sweet and what else did we get we got a big box here from diane cars just keep coming oh another avis quattro this one of the chrome variety was the other one chrome no the other one was not chrome yeah that's a distinct difference Sweet. Is this number? Yep. 96. Yeah. Distinct difference. Nice. I think I like the chrome one better. I know I definitely don't have the chrome one in my collection, but that chrome one looks nice. Sweet. This is one of those cars that I'll want to put on the track, but I'll struggle to open for sure going, oh, I want to keep it pristine, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> always like to get those older cars on the track well very nice indeed the mercedes 380 sel card number 253 with new paint style nice i love the ultra hots on that that's a nice shade of brown sweet nice i'm gonna dare say yep 1991 1992 it looks like Diecast Diane has herself a secret stash of blue cards I wasn't aware of. We'll have to uh, check out her collection a little bit more closely, see what she has up for trade. Nice. Mercedes 380 SL. And next we have the 90 T-Bird of the chrome variety. Very nice. I hope this camera is doing this chrome justice because this chrome is ultra, ultra shiny. Look at that. Hmm. Pretty good. More blue card gold. I'm going to say 95, 96. What do we have? Nope. Actually, 99, closer to 2000. Wow. Okay. I digress. T Bird. Looking good. Wild Deco, but looking good nonetheless. What else did we get? What else did we get? This is almost as good as a mail call. Let's pull some more of these out. All right. The looks like the CN 3D series, the Lexus SC 400. We think the theme of this uh, R A O K is wild decos for sure. Interesting. Nice. Nice. I like it. I definitely don't have this one in the collection. Two thousand again. Yep, 1999, 2000, sweet, nice. The Lexus SC400. I don't know, guys, what do you think about this, our, our first RAOK? -okay? We doing okay, or what do you think? Let me know in the comments. So far, I think it's pretty good. And we've still got a few more cars to go here. Okay, it looks like we picked up another Mercedes 380 SEL. I wonder if there's a variation to these. No, I don't think so. Nope. Definitely not. But still, do you ever have too many Mercedes 380 SLs with Ultra Hots? For real. You know? I don't think you ever have too many of them. And I am glad to have two. Perfect. And, wow, that's old school. Haven't seen this in a long time. The Beach Blaster. Wow. Jeez. What year is this from? 1997 well copyright 1996 that usually means 1997 wow haven't seen this car in a long time still looks good though wonder how it does on the track we'll have to open one of these and see how it does plastic base metal body pretty cool though huh pretty cool 
Nice. Is that someone on the inside? Oh, no, looks like it's just a post. Anyways, pretty cool. The Beach Blaster. And what else do we have here? Oh, looks like a very heavy Camaro with, or red Camaro with Ultra Hots. A more blue card gold, number 262. Nice. Any car with Ultra Hots is a gift from heaven. And this is definitely a gift from heaven. These cars scream down the track. 1991, so maybe from the 1992 variety. Does not matter, but it's a good looking card, and it is a good looking car. What do you think? Love it. Awesome. Good addition to the collection, for sure. And next we have, wow, now there's an old one. A speed machine with another wild deco. Well, this car, if you're a downhills guy, you guys know, this car speaks for itself on the track and has few peers, for sure. This is right up there with the kind of speed that you might find in a funny car. With some of these old school funny cars with metal on metal. Metal base, metal body. Wild looking ride, for sure. Hot Wheels original, no doubt. Unless it's a real car, which I, you know, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe somewhere in somebody's garage, but I've never seen one. Nice. We'll have to make sure I say a big thank you to Diecast Diane for all these awesome cars. Is that it? Yep. And for the last car in our R-A-O-K -okay is the Camaro race car. Now, I actually like that deco. That looks fantastic. Camaro race car. Nice. Plastic base. Racing deco. Almost has like that pace car deco from the Indy 500. No detail on the back. And numbered on the front. Or pardon me, on the top. Looks good. Looks good. Well, I gotta tell you guys, for our first R A O K whoops, sorry about that. For our first R A O K, I think we did all right. I think this was pretty successful. And I really want to say thank you to Diecast Diane for giving us so many cars in our first random act of kindness video hopefully there are many more to come not just from you but some of our other fellow collectors and hopefully we can showcase some awesome cars guys thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe have a great day